Brightest blessings, magical souls. It's been a millennia since I've been here. So I'm going to wait for some of you to jump on because we haven't been here together for like ages and ages and ages. And I'm just like, okay, school holidays are coming up like this weekend, starting this weekend. And if I don't get to this now, I'm going to be away for a while because we're not in lockdown anymore. We can go places and I'm taking the boys camping and we're going to um, the island. So I'm just like, I'm going to do this now. We're going to have a chill. We haven't seen each other. We haven't been in the witch's cottage together for ages. We haven't been in the witch's garden for even longer than that. And so we're going to do this. And then I might even pop in and say hello whilst I'm away because then I will have the time to do that. I want to update you on all the things that have been happening. Hi, Aiden, darling. Hi, Alandra, sweetheart. Um, so, so many things have been happening. I uh, got given the gift of like really being sick uh, once uh, Thorn brought home a bug from school and that was a two week period where I was just like snot and all the things. Um, hi Kaylee, sweetheart. Hi Talon. Um, yeah, so all those things and then, then looking after them because it was like tennis, like we were just, you know, ping ponging it around. Uh, the house. It wasn't COVID, but it was n not pleasant to say the least. And then all my different projects that I've been working on uh, have taken up my time. So I've been writing a lot of music because I do have uh, a new band um, that I'm uh, the vocalist for. So we've been recording tracks and been in the studio and all the things and here we are and all the things. <laughs> so tell me how you are. I've missed you. What's been going on in your world? Uh, we've just entered into, well, not just, I mean, we entered into airy season last month, but here we are any, nonetheless. Um, happy w uh, Witches New Year to you. We are coming through into that Samhain energy here in the Southern Hemisphere and the Beltane energy in the Northern. Like, everything's happening. And we've got a liberal full moon coming. Like, all the things are happening. <laughs> Hi, Desert Sweetheart, how are you? So I thought I'd sit here with you today, give you some updates, say I missed you. We're going to go into the witch's garden because I've had the projects in the garden that have been happening that I haven't even shared with you guys. And I know so many of you have been like, what are you doing? Like, where are you? Like, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm busy. I'm doing stuff. I'm like actually doing things, but I'll be here as soon as I can. And ta-da, here I am. Um, so as you can see, the cottage is the cottage. We, it really rarely ever changes. Um, I, I'm missing out on, on some comments here. Hang on. Um, I wonder if I can do that. <laughs> That's how we do that. Um, about having kids, you share everything with them, including getting sick. I know, I know. I'm going to pop all those comments up here because in my face. <laughs> See, I even forget to ha how to do this because I'm gone for such a long time and then I come back and then this is happening. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I've still got a bit of a husky voice if you can hear it, um, but it's on its way out. I'm actually about to prepare, start packing uh, for a weekend away. And once we're, we're away, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share some of that stuff with you because I love taking you out when I'm out. Um, and that hasn't been a thing for such a long time, right, guys? Because we've we've been in the throes of COVID. There's so much conflict happening in the world right now as well. There's so many things that are taking our attention. And I'm just like, how are you doing? Like, how are you doing through all of that? Um, working your talents, gifts and abilities. I did come on here, at, I think it was late February. So it's been a while. And, and say, like, we're getting into some, some stuff. We're going to get into more of those talents, gifts, and abilities as we head through this year because it's a celestial year. And so I thought, well, I might as well, you know, sit down with you before I go off and do some of that soul journeying stuff that I do want to share with you as well. But there's the stuff here um, that we're doing. So one of the things that I wanted to share with you was the Witch's Garden. So I'm going to do that with you. Um, as I take you, hi, Noah, sweetheart. As I take you out into the garden... I won't be able to see your comments. Um, so for those of you who have been with me a long time, this is throwback to the old days where I, I had no idea about electronics and therefore I just took you around everywhere whilst you were all commenting and I couldn't see them. Um, but yeah, I have to film it with my phone right now so I can show you. So keep this live, but take like transfer you to my phone. I've learned a few things about tech. 
just a few, but I still haven't learned how to see the comments when I'm taking you on a different camera. <laughs> so we're going to do that, um, see that. And I actually will take you um, into the solarium, uh, which is now the erected bell tent in the witch's standing circle. So I'm going to take that you to, through that today. Um, and let me know what you think, even though I can't see them. I will see them when I come sit back down. So that's a thing that we're going to do. Um, oh, I've missed so much. Hang on. What? Going a bit nuts looking for a new job that doesn't involve working with animals. Oh, sweetheart. Well, the best of luck. I, you know, change is afoot. Libra Moon is coming. The equalizer is coming. And then again, uh, on both polarities, we have Sow and Beltane axis that is hitting us. And that, you know, is my favorite time of year. No matter where it hits, that axis is one of my favorites. So I'll spend some time with you on that one specifically. But do you want to head out? Let me know right now in the chat if you want to head out right now into the witch's garden, go into the solarium. I'll go through a few things with you that I've been doing. You'll see it's very different. It's very different. So type yes in the chat right now if you want to go and do that. And we'll by all means do that. There won't be any card draws today, but I will get back to those with you um, as soon as I can. So, we ready? Do we want to go? Is that a thing? <laughs> okay. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. All right. Now, I'm going to press the button. You're going to go dark for a second. But you can still hear me. Hello. We're going. We're going, we're going. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of work out here and it's been a while since you've been in this place so you can see I've been doing a lot of work because I've got the wood out and stuff like that but the moon gate the moon gate is bursting to life as you can see in here you can hear the crows bursting into life and it's autumn would you believe all these beautiful one of those roses that uh, the boys gave me for Mother's Day a couple of years ago is just in her fullest glory look. And we've got the strawberries coming up through here as well. And there's some sage mixed in with some blueberry, uh, not blueberry, blackberry, sorry. And then we've got the cottage from the outside that you may not have seen in a while. So there we are. <laughs> and so this is the area that I've been working on that has changed so very much. And I have, I removed beds. Oh, you can see my, my little wheelbarrow with some soil in there. But I want to take you through here. So we've got some planting. We've got our little Viking there. <laughs> the olive tree who nearly died by the way in that big heat wave that we had i hope this is still working all right so all of this i'm going to do a proper tour just so you can see i've been busy with irrigation and building new plants and some fencing for the Can you hear the crows? I'm still terrible with camera work. I apologize if I'm shaking you around. We're going to go into the standing circle. All the autumn color is starting to come in. If you can see up the wall. But I will do a tour that's not live as well with all the specific things. So as you're watching now, if you guys have any questions, I will answer them when I do that next video. So here's the standing circle. The tripod is back up. The videos. In the very beginning, when I was constructing this place, when it was in space, Good. You're gonna come. come there foraging. Hello, beauty. Hello. You're 
and say, how, where are the rest? And Karen's like, gently, I want to come and play. All right. So, so a quick glance. I apologize. This is an interesting thing doing this hand. I don't know. Keep it taut. Difficult. I hope this is still working, guys. Okay. One. Fort Knox. Can we come the solarium? So this is the bigger now coven I hope, I hope this is, you'll get a better tour uh, painting all the things isn't that a picture hi <laughs> say hi Been raining. You can't go around. I'm just <laughs> all right. We're coming back. Hopefully that actually was on camera. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to put you back down. You going to come in, Chiron? <laughs> All right, I'm putting you down. Did that work? Did any of that work? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't seeing your comments. Okay, I'm going to go back over them and see who's here. I'm sorry if I missed you. I couldn't see any comments because I was taking the camera around everywhere. <laughs> All right, so um, where did I leave off? I can't remember. Here we are. Hi, Kaylee, sweetheart. Let's see. I'm so excited. I bet your whole house has changed since I last saw it. Well, I will do actually uh, a homestead tour as well in the next video. Because I'm putting it together. I'm just like going to put together an hour video because there's too much that's changed. And I really can't be, I don't have time to edit and edit and edit. So what I'm going to do is put it all in one. So it's like one big long tour of the homestead, of the cottage, of the solarium, of the witch's garden. Both aspects, front and back. <laughs> um, Alejandro would love to see your garden. The roses are beautiful. Aren't, I know, aren't, isn't their display just beautiful? And the one on the other side actually flowers at a different time. So there's always one, uh, and they're both yellow roses, one that, that's, you know, greeting me uh, throughout the seasons. Hi, Lauren, sweetheart. I'm in Melbourne in Australia. <laughs> so I dropped everything for you, dear sister. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness, I love you. You love, you love what I've done with the place. Oh, I can't wait to share what's planted and get into all of that stuff with you and really spend more time in that solarium with you guys, uh, raising some energy and doing some workings. Raised beds are awesome. Loving the crows and the kitty. Well, the crows, they, they are here all day, every day. So if you were here with me all day, every day, you would hear them talking to each other. And often I'll go out there and have a little conversation myself. What a lovely space. Thank you, sweetheart. Yay. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad to see you guys. It was a bit jumpy, but I could see. See, this is this is phone technology. Like, it's the phone. Like, what am I going to do? Um, <laughs> um, awesome. I'm in New South Wales. I'd love to come visit you. You can come visit anytime, sweetheart, as long as you tell me you're coming because I need to be here. 
I might be off, you know, doing a witchy road trip somewhere or doing something, but you let me know um, when you're going to be in Melbourne and we'll, we'll arrange something uh, to see each other. Oh, I know purple. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to see you guys too. Okay. So because I haven't seen you forever, this is what we're doing. This is why we did it. Um, were you able to harvest a lot of fruit food from your garden? Um, through spring, because we're in autumn now, so through spring and summer, um, I harvested over 270 kilos of food from this allotment now. Um, and if you've been following the journey with me throughout from the beginning on this channel, you know that there was nothing here and now everything literally is there to help us, to feed us, uh, both workings in magical uh, with magic and medicinally as well. Um, there's herbs, there's produce, there's plants, there's all these things that have been put together in that way to help us. Um, and certainly it's very sustain it sustains itself other than um, the planting and the transplanting that, that I do. So I love gardening. Like what, what can I say? The witch's garden is everything to me. Um, so through all of this process, um, as I said, there's been a lot of things. I, uh, for some of you may know, may not know if you follow me on other social media, um, because social media and I also have not been friends for a little while because I've been so busy. But uh, if you've seen, Brayden actually plays soccer. So yes, I'm a soccer mum. Like I'm totally a soccer mum. I even have the four wheel drive. Like that's a thing. Um, but I've also been made team manager for his team. So that's taken like three days a week and a weekend, a day during uh, the weekend for games. And, you know, it's something I love. I love soccer. For those of you who don't know that about me, I used to play soccer. And, uh, you know, I'm a Manchester United girl. So for those of you who um, actually do follow soccer, <laughs> that's a thing. So there's been all these things, including uh, the music and the band stuff that's been happening as well. But I just wanted to jump in with you guys while I had a moment before I have to pack up the trailer with all of the things for our camping trip this coming weekend um, and say, I'm still here, I promise. I know you've been messaging me and I appreciate it. It's just I don't really readily get to it anymore because of this energy that's been happening. Busy, busy, busy. It's not locked down anymore, as you can tell. <laughs> We're doing all the things. <laughs> so... Um, I would love it if you could come help me with my garden one day. I would love to help you with your garden, Kaylee. Look, don't threaten me with a good time. Like that just is absolutely something I adore. Um, hopefully over the years for some of you who are interested in, uh, you know, working your gardens in all its facets, whether it's for, you know, food, for medicinal use or for magical use, and knowing that you can do all of that and also make it your soul journey as well as you're doing it. Um, I hope you've gotten some threads of inspiration and I hope you've gotten some gnosis out of what I've shared with you. And if you ever have any questions, guys, please let me know. I will do a Q&A, as I said, after the next video, after the tour that I'm going to do. So let me know what you want to know and I will help as much as I can, if I can. Um, Desert, how are you, sweetheart? Uh, seeing your seed organization motivated you to do the same. So this spring you were ready. Yes! Actually, all right, this is a thing. Watch. It's never ending with me. I'm going to, hang on. Like, hang on. This is, okay, so a box is coming out. This wasn't going to be a thing, but it's an, a thing now. Because you just m mentioned the seeds and I'm just like, it never stops. These just came in this morning. That's my next lot of seeds um, that I'll be planting out into the greenhouse and, and it, some bulbs because we are in autumn. And so I've got like some, um, oh, how do I do that? Is that going to, I can't even. Nope, nope. Show and tell is not my strong suit. Is that there? Yeah. Hyacinths. And I've got some jonquils and I've got some beautiful bulbs that I'm going to be planting as well as, you name it, all the seeds in the universe for um, autumn harvest. I've already got the beds planted full, but you know, autumn harvest is, uh, sorry, autumn planting. Um, so autumn harvest and winter harvest, 
all uh, the brassicas and everything that's in the, oh my goodness I could talk about this forever hi Julie sweetheart how are you um oh I missed some hang on sorry Purple, you're my favorite. Thanks so much for your time. Oh, I love you, sweetheart. Thank you so much for like spending time with me. Like, I, I do apologize that I don't get here as frequently as I'd like, but you know, stuff in life like happens. Um, Kaylee, well, I'm only up the road, or you can come visit anytime. <laughs> um, are you going camping? That's great. I wish you all the best, fun, and safety. I, yes, I like absolutely. Camping for me, it it just we're we're taking we're going to uh, one of the big uh, campsites that I actually I think I might have shared it with some of you um, when Nick and I went there for our anniversary, uh, where all the wildlife like is your best friend. It's like I, I was saying to uh, Nick, it's like an episode of Cheers where like everyone knows your name, but it's it like every animal there like knows you so they come and say hello and you know you interact and I think some of you have seen some of that footage where you know all the uh, lorikeets and the galahs and um, the ducks and um, the koala were all interacting with us just as we were sitting at, at our campsite um, <laughs> hi Julie sweetheart okay okay so seeds all the things now this is, how, how long are we into this now? Yeah, we're coming up to that half an hour slot again, or I actually have a student that I have to get to. But it was just quick. I miss your bloody faces. Like, I just wanted to step in and say, hey, I'm here. I'm alive, I promise. Um, and I, I do really want to, um, you know, share these spaces with you. And particularly, as most of you may know, like spring and autumn are my two favourite season seasons but autumn particularly for me is like my favorite 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 because all the changes in foliage and, and color uh, are happening through the trees and now in the witch's garden all the trees are going to start to you know shed their leaves but before that they put on this display of awesomeness so I can't wait to be sharing that through this time with you um, and other than that we're going to be doing some workings here and I really do want to step into, like I mentioned in my last video so very long ago, step into working more of our talents, gifts and abilities, working some of our clairs, some of the intrinsic magic that we bring to the fore rather than just tools and other things. <coughs> I've still got that cough. Anyway, I love you. I will see you soon. <coughs> oh this cough I will see you soon but you let me know like I said if you have any questions about any of the spaces or any questions about any of the things that you might often see in my videos that like I wonder what's that what's that's for or I wonder what that is oh well I wonder what your favorite this is or I wonder whatever the questions may be pop them under this video go to my sit you know uh, to my Facebook to my Instagram wherever you want to go and ask those questions. I'll put a post up on both of those. And then when I get back from our holiday, I'll do a QA and a and I'll pop up um, also the tours. Okay, but I love you. I gotta go, because I'm gonna be late, as always. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you soon. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, and I love you, like that's a thing. Mwah.